Welcome to part three of my five-part album reviews where I take a look at albums that I've listened to during my flight from London to Toronto. And right now, I'm going to be reviewing the compilation album The Great Tenors of the Century, which includes tenors like Roberto Alaña, Jose Carreras, Jose Cura, Enrico Caruso, Josef Schmidt, Helge Rosfenger, Wolfgang Wingassen, Richard Leach, Neil Shekhoff, and many other great tenors that have made an impact on the world of music alongside various conductors. And they're basically singing arias from different operas from Wagner, Verdi, Puccini, Celea, Giordano, and Mozart. Now, this was an album that I am extremely excited to talk about because I'm a huge fan of the tenors that I've gotten to really know and love. In fact, I actually consider myself as a tenor, though my voice is still developing at this stage. And this is an album I'm actually very excited to talk about because of the exciting singing that these tenors have done throughout the ages. So let's get on with it. Now, the biggest highlights for me in this album have to be the following. Roberto Alagna singing the Kleinsach Aria from Offenbach's Tales of Hoffman. That was just an absolutely wonderful rendition of this aria. And then we have Jose Cura singing Nessun Dorma from Puccini's Turandot. Say what you will about Jose Cura, I think he is an absolutely wonderful dramatic tenor and here he is singing various very gloriously and it's all helped with this baritonal timbre that he has it's an absolutely ver gorgeous and very virile instrument and it's just represented here very well and then we have Josef Schmidt singing Dies Bildnis ist bezaubern schön from Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's The Magic Flute. This is one of my most favorite arias and one that I also like singing myself. And hearing Josef Schmidt singing this gorgeous aria was just wonderful. It really took my ears and my soul to a whole new journey and one that's full of delight and full of joy. It's just so blissful hearing such an old school tenor sing this wonderful, wonderful aria, and it's just sung very flawlessly. And then we have Helge Roswenge singing Am Stillen Herd from Wagner's Meistersinger from Nuremberg, which was just gorgeous singing all around. And Roswenge was very well known for singing a very versatile repertoire, starting with the full lyric tenor repertoire, and then with the spinto, and then the dramatic tenor repertoire. He was very well known for his versatility in his repertoire, and a lot of critics and fans have praised him for that versatility. And then we also had some Wagner selections, like the Siegfried scene sung by Siegfried Jerusalem as Siegfried and Graham Clark as Mime. I thought it was just well done, and it was just superb. And then we had... Lohengrin, the scene where Lohengrin enters, and this is sung by Wolfgang Windgassen alongside Josef Kreindl as King Henry the Fowler. Also very well done. And Carlo Bergonzi singing O Paradiso. With such a very robust voice, it was just thrilling all around. And not to mention the contributions made by Peter Schreier singing the first aria of Mozart's Entführung aus dem Serail, when he sang Hier soll ich dich den sehen, Constanze, which was sung with such beauty, though I prefer a much fuller sounding tenor in the role of Belmonte. Here he is singing it with such finesse and such grace, even though I do prefer a fuller sounding voice like Daniel Kirch or even that of Francisco Araiza or Anton der Mota. But it's still an absolutely beautiful instrument that is just well recommended. And what more can I say about this compilation album? This is just absolutely beautiful. Oh, and lest I forget, Neil Shikoff singing 
La Traviata was just well done. The same thing can be said about Richard Leach singing La Donne Mobile. And also Pavarotti's Che Gelida Manina was just gorgeous. Everything about this album had a lot of gorgeous singing. But despite that, I have an issue with how these are tracked, as in the build-up. I would have wanted Enrico Caruso's Questo Quella to be the first track and have the Nessun Dorma sung by Jose Cura being the last track. Because when you think about it, a lot of tenor albums have Nessun Dorma as the final track that's going to be sung, and with good reason. This aria is so full of build-up that it just leads to such a triumphant close that it's just awestruck. It's just so full of awe. It's just extremely awesome, and I would have wanted to save the best for last. And, you know, the other issue is we could have also had a lot more bel canto arias. We could have had the likes of Juan Diego Flores, Rolando Filazón, Gregory Kunda, Chris Merritt, Rockwell Blake, Bruce Ford, Giuseppe Morino, Giuseppe Sabatini. We could have had all these tenors in this album as well. Why couldn't they have been here in this album? Oh, and not to mention, even current tenors could have also been here. Like, let's say, Edgar Smodvidas, or Christoph Streil, or Daniel Kirsch, or even the likes of Jonas Kaufmann. But still, despite that, I still enjoy listening to this album. And this is definitely a must-listen if you're a huge fan of great singing from any tenor of any century. So with that said, I'm going to give it a well-deserved 4.5 out of 5 stars. It is a must-listen. And despite the, tr the tracking issues that I had with how it built up, I still have to say it's very well recommended, especially when you hear such very fine singing from all of these great tenors. Well, that's all for now, and that's it for the tenor side of this review. So stay tuned in which I review Jennifer Larmore, A Portrait. Now we're heading to the ladies for this, for the next few reviews. So stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen, and see you later.